Hey guys, Ivan here, and uh, wow, right? Wow, Regan Grimes, it seems like he actually made some progress in that short time span between the Mr. Olympia and post-Olympia shows until now. He was working with Milo Sharchev, and apparently it, it seems like it worked out. I don't know, I could be wrong again, <laughs> because I was wrong when I said that he didn't make progress. I could be wrong again that on stage he won't look very good, but he actually just might, because here... He does look pretty good. I mean, look at the look at the arms and and the, and the delts. Like it's popping like crazy. The traps too. The legs. I don't know about that. I, I don't think he improved his legs much. Maybe a little. But overall, like his entire body compared to his head, it looks like he gained some muscle. Now remember, this guy is six foot, so he's definitely gonna look much bigger on stage compared to the other shorter bodybuilders. And uh, it's not really easy. It's not. It's hard. It's very hard to get uh, to look like the other shorter guys, like Bonac and Brandon, when you are 6 feet tall. Now, in this post, he says that he is uh, fully loaded, and I'm not sure what exactly does he mean by that. He didn't specify that by saying he is carved up. Is he loaded with carbs? I mean, uh, he looks like that. He does look full. Much fuller than on that photo that he posted previously that I said he looks small because I mean obviously he was flat he said that he was flat and here he says he's fully loaded but why would he be fully loaded uh, a couple of days out of Arnold so this month has only 28 days today is 26th and the pre-judging for the men's open is on March 3rd at 7 p.m. so he is five days out I mean there is this strategy, I, I don't really know, a lot of people do it, but some people do this front load, where they carved up uh, earlier in the week, and then they go lower with carbs, they maintain the fullness. Uh, sometimes when you deplete too hard, you need more days to fully carb up, but usually it starts, for most people, it's like last two days. Some people do one day before the show, some people do three days before the show, but five days before the show... You don't see that very often, and Milos talked openly about how he was speaking other bodybuilders that he worked with. Uh, he also worked with the Dennis Wolf right here, who is behind Regan, as well as Jay Cutler. Uh, and, and Dennis is also a tall bodybuilder like Regan, so he had to carb up like a maniac, and he was eating about 5,000 grams of carbs uh, divided by three days. So he would be carbing up for the last three days. Five days? I never heard Milos talk about that. Maybe it's a new strategy that he adopted, I don't know. You know when it happens? It happens when a bodybuilder can't endure the diet, can't endure the depletion in the final week, and then they cheat. And that's when it happens. And then they try to somehow make something out of it by doing this uh, quote-unquote front load. I don't think Regan did that. He's a professional. He has done so many shows. And this is his first show this year. And it's a very important show. It might be a breakthrough show for him. So, I don't know. Uh, he does look carved up. And I believe he is. So, it's gotta be some new strategy that, that Milos adopted that he never really did before. I don't know. Does he look bigger than last year? I think so. He does look, at least in this photo. But hey, still, it could be lighting. It could be a great pump. He is obviously... Uh, very sweaty, so he has the oil, basically, he has, a, he has a shine from the light, so he does uh, create a great illusion of looking probably bigger than he is. Uh, still, you have to see what he looks on stage, but uh, right now, am I happy with this look? Does this look good? It does. I would like to see bigger and fuller legs, but I know he changed some posing as well. His posing is much better now, I'm sure that's help of Milos Archer. Take a look at this photo, for example. Uh, this photo on the right is current, and the left photo is him from the previous season. Now, as you can see, his arms are looking bigger, his lats are looking bigger, his waist looks smaller, and his legs look bigger. Did he grow that much? No. I mean, he probably did grow a little, but here's the thing. So, for example, he lifts his elbows up higher, which makes his lats pop more. This creates the illusion that he has bigger lats. His abs on the foot on the left before were flexed, now he stretched them. By doing that, he makes his waist look smaller and also helps with popping the lats. And also, it helps with the chest looking a little bit thicker. Then also, when you lift your elbows higher like that, your bicep peaks can seem bigger. That's what's happening here. No, his arms didn't grow that much, it's mainly posing. Also, lower body, legs. His legs look bigger now. Did he really grow them? 
I don't think so. He changed the posing. The left photo, he was doing the legs widespread. And that's something you can do only if you have really massive legs like Kai Green or Ronnie Coleman. They used to do that and they would get away with it. And it would look really good because they had super massive legs. But Regan, he can't do that. He can't pull it off. He needs to uh, keep his feet closer like he's doing now and take a look at it. Wow, it looks much better. And Milos, he knows all this stuff. He's a he's a great poser. He understands posing so well. So he helped him with that. And of course, I'm sure uh, they made some progress muscularity-wise. And also, he will probably come really conditioned. And with fixed posing, he will look better. How good will he be? I think he actually has a chance of cracking the top 5, top 6. Which is not going to be very hard because like 5 guys... Uh, decided to not compete in this Arnold Classic, so I think Regan has a chance of actually cracking the top 6, it would be amazing, actually, for him, because, I mean, he never really achieved such success, so with everything, you know, a little bit more muscle, better conditioning and better posing, he might do very, very well, and he has these legends backing him up, that is Wolf, Jay Cutler and of course his coach Milo Archer. we will see what's gonna happen with Regan in a couple of days, guys! And before I leave, guys, I want to show you this product by the Old School Labs. Uh, it is Vintage Brown. It's a protein powder. Honestly, guys, uh, over here in Europe, I haven't tasted a better quality protein. I'm a chocolate guy, so I really like the rich chocolate, but the other flavors are awesome as well. Like vanilla milkshake, lemon cheesecake, and tiramisu. What is interesting about this protein is that it's not only whey, it's actually whey isolate, it's beef isolate, and egg white protein. So it's a very interesting combination, you have a great chain of amino acids, it's more of a complete meal than just a simple whey protein. And I gotta tell you, it tastes absolutely amazing. So guys, if you wanna support the channel, try out Vintage Brawn and the Old School Apps. Anyways guys, thank you so much for all the support, for watching, and whatever you think about Regan Grimes, tell me in the comment section down below. What do you think about his new physique update and how well do you think he can do at the Iron Classic? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Once again, guys, thank you so much. All the best and bye-bye.